Hey gang and welcome to your very first Mern Stack tutorial. Alright, so to begin with, I just want to talk a little bit about what the Mern Stack is, the different technologies involved, and how they all work together. And also just explain exactly what we're going to be building in this series. So, the MERN stack is basically a bunch of four different technologies that we can use together to make an interactive and data-driven web application or website. And if you master the MERN stack, then technically speaking, you're a full stack developer, meaning you build the front end of a website and the back end of a website. That's generally what we mean when we say full stack, the front end and the back end, the whole shazam. Now, there's loads of different variations of a full stack, and the Mern stack is just one of them. And it consists of React, which is the front end library that we use, Node and Express, which we use to make the back end API that we interact with from the front end, and then finally MongoDB, which is a NoSQL database to store application data in, like user data or blogs or whatever other data that your website uses. And together, they spell out the acronym Mern. So how these all work together is as follows. On the front end, we have the browser where we see the website and our React application runs in the browser to power the website and typically handles routing in the browser as well to show different website pages. Then when we need to show data in the website like blogs or even just authenticate users, we'd send a request from the front end to the back end. Now the back end is an Express app running in a Node.js environment. And if you don't already know, Express is just a framework for Node that lets us easily create APIs. So the Node and Express API would handle our request on the back end and typically interact with a database to get data or update data or delete data, etc. It would also handle authentication requests to do things like log a user in, log them out, or sign them up, as well as protect certain API endpoints from unauthenticated users so that only logged in users can access certain resources. Anyway, once it has the data from the database, it would then send a response with that data back to the browser, the client, and the React app would handle that response by outputting the data in some kind of template. Now, you might be thinking, what's the point of this middle node API step in order to fetch the data? Why can't I just reach out directly to MongoDB for the data and skip this middle bit entirely? And the answer is that if you do that, you'd be exposing sensitive data in your front end code in the browser, such as an admin username and password to access your database. And by putting that logic in the back end instead, you're hiding that sensitive code from people who use your website. So. That's the Mern stack from a bird's eye view, and these are the four different technologies we'll be using to build a full stack application in this series. React, Node, Express, and MongoDB. So that project that we're gonna make looks something like this. It's a pretty simple application to track exercises that you might do, but it pulls together all the core concepts of a full stack Mern application, and I think it serves as a really good introductory project. I will also be adding authentication into the mix, but I'm splitting that section off into a separate course that's gonna be released right after this one. And the reason I'm doing that is because a lot of other Mern tutorials start out with authentication right off the bat. And generally speaking, adding authentication to a full stack app is arguably one of the hardest parts about it. And personally, I don't think it's the best way to introduce the Mern stack to developers who wanna learn it. So we'll be starting out by making the project without authentication and then adding in authentication in the next course coming right after this one. And that's gonna look something like this, where users can sign up, log in and log out and we protect the dashboard from anyone who's not logged in and also every user has their own exercises listed on the dashboard as well so that you don't see other people's just your own so like i said that's coming right after this course once we've nailed the bread and butter of the mern stack now, before you start this course, I would strongly recommend that you have at least a very basic understanding of each of the four technologies we're gonna be using. It's not absolutely essential because I won't be skipping bits out and I will explain everything as we go along, but I'm not gonna pretend that knowing about them prior to this course is not gonna be extremely beneficial. So if you wanna learn the basics of those four things in isolation, first of all, I've got introductory courses to each one of them. So Node and Express, MongoDB, and also React. So I'm gonna leave the links to each one of those courses down below this video. 
Also, since we're using Node.js to make our backend API in this course, it goes without saying that you're going to need Node installed on your computer. And you can get that from Node.js.org. Just hit this download button right here and follow the installation steps. And to make sure it's installed correctly, open up any kind of terminal. You can use command prompt or whatever else you want to use. And then just type Node, then a space, then hyphen V and then press enter. And if you see a version number, then you know it's installed. If you get an error, then it's not installed correctly and you'll need to try it again. And then finally, as always, I've made course files for every single lesson in the series. And you can find those here on this GitHub repo. The link to this is gonna be down below the video. So if you wanna see or download the code for a specific lesson, you just need to select that lesson from the branch dropdown. For example, to get the lesson two code, you select the lesson two branch. And then to download this code, just head to the green code button and then choose to download a zip folder of this lesson. There's instructions on how to use the course files down here as well, since you'll have to run an NPM install for the project to work once you download it. So there we go, my friends, that's your course introduction out of the way. And in the next lesson, we're going to start work on the Node and Express backend to begin with. By the way, if you want to watch this entire course now without YouTube adverts, you can do. It's all up on the NetNinja website, netninja.dev. You can buy the course for $2 to get instant access to all of it, or you can sign up to NetNinja Pro and get instant access to all of my courses without adverts, as well as premium courses not found on YouTube, including my Udemy ones. That's $9 a month, and you can get your first month half price when you use this promo code right here. So I'm going to leave this link down below in the video description for you to sign up. And I really hope you enjoy this series, and please do not forget to share, subscribe, and like the videos. That really helps a lot, and I'm going to see you in the very next lesson.